Hi, my name is Jez Cope. I'm the Data Services Lead at the British Library and this is my application for the 2020 SSI Fellowship. First up, who am I? I'm a graduate in Maths and Computing, which after four years gave me a deep understanding of algorithms and statistics and a lot of what we now call data science. I don't use that knowledge daily now, but I do still do enough programming to keep the rust off and it still underpins everything I do. After graduating, I spent a few years doing research before discovering a love of teaching and realising that what I actually wanted to do was support research rather than do it. I sought out formal training in education in teaching, and I now have a lot of experience teaching adults in a range of different contexts. I've taught technical subjects like Java, Python and OpenRefine, through to high level concepts such as data management planning, to undergraduates, librarians and experienced researchers. And so for the past nine or so years, I've specialised in helping researchers to look after and do more with their data to a number of different higher education institutions, including advocacy, training, infrastructure building, service management and policy. More recently, I've been doing similar work at the British Library, which rather than being an educational institution, is focused on looking after the written and printed cultural heritage of the UK. My interest there is in how we can make our largely printed collections available to researchers as data for computational analysis at scale, how we can extract valuable data from our collections and make that available, and how we can incorporate increasingly digital cultural material into our collections. Underpinning that, I coordinate the development of infrastructure services and make sure that our staff and readers have access to the tools, methods and training they need. Finally, as a national institution, we play a national and international leadership role around innovating and pushing forward the boundaries of what's possible with heritage data. That's something that my team can't deliver on our own, so I collaborate closely with stakeholders across the organisation and many partners nationally and internationally. One of the main ways I get things done is by identifying the right people and bringing them together to have productive conversations. It's a tactic that I used successfully at Sheffield when we set up a community around data visualisation and it's proving equally valuable here at the British Library. I'm also finding more ways to use my programming and statistics knowledge and to empower my team to do the same, which brings me on to fellowship plans. Data science at the British Library. Like most organisations, we're finding that data science or AI or ML or just plain statistics is increasingly important. It's relevant to our own research, such as Living with Machines, which is a really cool project using a data-driven approach to gain insight into the impact of the Industrial Revolution on everyday life. It's relevant to the people who use our services, who increasingly want to bring a computational approach to their research. It's relevant to our specialist infrastructure, and it's relevant to the way we run our business. So we have a lot of people across the organisation who are interested in data science. We have a lot of opportunities to benefit from a data scientific approach. What we don't have right now is much opportunity to share good practice across what can sometimes be quite a siloed organisation. We don't have much opportunity to learn both the possibilities of data science and the technical skills needed to realise them. Although my digital scholarship colleagues are already doing a lot to change that and previous fellow James Baker did some really good work on library carpentry and getting that up and running too. So what I propose is to kickstart within the library a data science community of practice for cultural heritage. The key thing here would be to create regular opportunities for absolutely anyone interested in data science to come together and share skills, show off what they've done and learn in more and less formal settings. We have two sites, one in London and one in Yorkshire, so that requires repeated events or video conference links for synchronous events and an online space for asynchronous conversations. We also have several active collaborations with the Alan Turing Institute, who are based on our London site at St Pancras, so this would be a great opportunity to build on that. With all that in place, it should then be possible to widen the scope out to other cultural heritage organisations across the country using the British Library's well-established networks and potentially even open up some events to wider to cross-fertilise with other sectors. So, I applied for a fellowship uh, with the SSI a few years ago with a proposal to organise library carpentry training for the White Rose University Group. I missed out that time but still managed to pull together a hugely successful course, only a few years later than I'd hoped, only the second run in the UK. So why do I need a fellowship this time? Well, we could get there eventually, uh, but the funding would enable us to move sooner and take advantage of a current level of data science interest in the BL. I've mentioned this fellowship to a few people and had a lot of interest right across the organisation. It would be easier to bring in external speakers. It would be possible to provide catering for time-starved staff. It would cover venue hire for public events, inter-site travel for me and other facilitators, and potentially able, enable me to share the outcomes at events like the collaborations workshop and 
RSC conference that I wouldn't usually be able to attend. The fact that I've won a competitive funded fellowship would itself open doors within the British Library uh, and generally make it easier to justify spending time as well as the money on this work. And finally, the support network of other fellows and the opportunity for mentorship would be both personally and professionally valuable to me and give this idea a much greater chance of success. So that's my proposal. Thanks for taking the time to consider my application.